look at you, buzzing around the aether with your very own ship. Rest of us gotta make do with the ground at our feet. No, I'm sorry. That was unworthy of me. Lady named Zoe went missing some nights ago. Just up and vanished without a trace. Now I'm pacing around wondering if marauders got to her. It's not like Zoe to go wandering. Figured she might be out scavenging, but that ain't exactly her talent. Can't imagine where she's gone. Vale's a wide place. She could be anywhere. Appreciate it. Honest. I'll tell you what I can. Well, enough to know we never got on. Zoe and Stefan were close. If any... Vex me. If she told anybody, they ain't telling me. I'd check her room, but I got yelled. Little ways ago, she was always obsessing over her cereal. Could be. Dangers are plenty out there. No telling why marauders would steal. What is it? Fancy duds. Do the tubes get in your way? You mean Zoe? Yeah, we were pretty close. Not like her to go loping off. Zoe and I were gonna watch the cereals, as is our custom. She never turned up. I looked around, but she was nowhere to be found. You sound like some type of corporate... Zoe was always obsessed with this cereal. Masked marketeer. A scion of Byzantium turns to banditry and teaches his marauder companions the wisdom of free market economics. Shame she up and vanished when she did. I had a surprise lined up for her. The other day I got my hands on a genuine copy of the latest masked marketeer. I was gonna surprise Zoe with it, but she was gone the next day. Can't say I recall Zoe ever acting strange. Well, except for her habit of writing things down on scraps of paper. She called it journaling, but I think it's just plain odd. Hey, I got time. I'll help if I can. Hey, I got time. Fresh off the limb, and that includes canid meat.
I don't know anybody who ever came out this far. crossed them all off, like some sort of heroic accountant running down a list. Teach me your ways. What? You mean Adelaide's little congregation of nature-loving nobodies? I could not possibly be less interested in them. You, on the other hand, you were a sight to behold. If I had half your skills, I'd be the greatest outlaw the coast has ever seen. I'm great at clarifying. Uh, no. I insinuated myself into their company, see? And they didn't seem to mind one whit. I may have bartered them a few boxes of Adrena time, but I'm sure that's got nothing to do with it. I don't know. The vital processes that constitute the miracle of life are mysterious and unknowable. Oh, you mean around these guys? The marauders wouldn't hurt me, they love me. I'm practically their queen. Yeah, it must be my natural charisma. I got kicked out of Edgewater on account of falling sick with plague and stealing some medicine to treat myself. I'd heard some outlaws set up camp in the botanical labs. I decided to throw in with them seeing as I always wanted to be an outlaw myself. Instead, what do I find? But a bunch of former workers camped out around a greenhouse. I couldn't just go back to the cannery, so I was stuck with them. I've got all the time. Why? Adelaide wants me back on garden duty or something? Thanks, but I'm not going anywhere. This is where I belong. I doubt that. Nobody in that camp really cared about me. Yeah, I suppose you're right. Also, he could carry on a conversation, unlike these hooligans. I'll take my stuff and head on back, I suppose. Grace is going to be glaring knives at me, so I've got that to look forward to. <laughs> 